you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. Our first step will be to draw a picture of this box of clothes on the ramp. So here is that box resting on the surface of the ramp, and actually it's going to be pulled up the ramp, and as it's being pulled up the ramp, we're going to be calculating the change in its kinetic energy. Now to do that, we have to draw a free body diagram showing the forces that are acting on this box. Now, perhaps the most obvious force is the gravitational force, which points straight down, but it's most useful to break this gravitational force into its x and y components. Now, the x component is going to be pointing along the surface of the ramp and sort of down the ramp, and the magnitude of that x component is going to be the gravitational force times the sine of the angle formed by the ramp. And this is always true for any object that's on an incline, this x component that's parallel to the surface of the ramp will be equal to its gravitational force times the sine of the angle. The y component will be the gravitational force multiplied by the cosine of that angle. Again, the angle would be formed between the surface of the ramp and the horizontal. Now there is another force acting here, and it turns out that there is a pulling force of 99 newtons that is causing this box to go up the ramp. So we can show another horizontal force pointing up the ramp and perhaps we can label that as being 99 newtons. Now it turns out that there are still a couple of more forces. We have the surface of the ramp pushing up on the box of clothes. That's known as the normal force. So we're going to show a force that's pointing upward and we can label that Fn. And then the question notes that there is kinetic friction between the box and the ramp. And so we're going to have to include a kinetic frictional force. And because the box is sliding up the ramp, the kinetic frictional force will oppose that motion. And so we're going to be pointing it down the ramp. We'll color it in blue just so it stands out. And we can label that FK for kinetic frictional force. Now, in order to calculate the change in the box's kinetic energy, we recall that the change in kinetic energy is going to be equal to the net work done on the box. Now, what we want to notice in the y direction is that the normal force and the Fg cosine theta force are going to cancel each other out. So the work done in the y direction is going to equal zero joules. So we can basically ignore the y direction forces. In the x direction, on the other hand, we will have net work. And in order to calculate that net work in the x direction, we have to understand the definition of work. Now, work in general is equal to a force times a distance multiplied by the cosine of an angle. Now, that angle is going to be between the force and the direction of the displacement. And so we're going to keep that definition of work in mind as we determine the net work acting in the x direction. Let's begin with the 99 Newton force. And so according to the definition of work, we're going to take that force of 99 Newtons, we're going to multiply it by the distance that the box travels up the ramp, which is stated in the question to be 7 meters, and then we have to multiply by the cosine of an angle. Now, the 99 Newton force is pointing up the ramp, and the displacement is also up the ramp. So the angle between that 99 Newton force and the displacement would actually be a zero degree angle. So we'll have the cosine of zero degrees. Next, we can determine the work done by the Fg sine theta force. And so we're going to add that to our net work expression. So once again, we'll follow the equation for work. We're going to take the force of Fg sine theta. We'll multiply it by the distance, which again is seven. And then we'll multiply by the cosine of the angle. Now, Fg sine theta points down the ramp. The displacement is pointing up the ramp. The angle between down and up the ramp would be 180 degrees. So we'll have to multiply by the cosine of 180. Finally, we have to add the work in the x direction that is being done by the frictional force. So we're going to add that force, Fk, times the distance of 7 meters, times the cosine of the angle between Fk and the displacement, and once again that angle will be 180 degrees. 
Now the question notes that Fg is 61 newtons and that the angle produced by the ramp is 30 degrees. So we can fill in 61 newtons for Fg and 30 degrees for theta. And then the only other term that we have to fill in for is Fk. Now Fk is the kinetic frictional force. We know that kinetic friction is equal to a coefficient of friction times the normal force. The question gave us the coefficient of kinetic friction, it's 0.22. And then the normal force, if we go back to our free body diagram, we can see that the normal force is equal in magnitude to Fg cos theta. Remember we stated that those two forces canceled each other out and the reason is because their magnitudes are equal. So for the normal force we can fill in Fg cos theta. Now we remember that Fg is 61 newtons and theta is 30 degrees. So we can take this expression for the kinetic friction force and plug it into our equation for the network. Finally, we can pick up our calculators and punch all three of these terms in. And when we do that, we should get approximately 398 joules as the correct answer. So this would be the network done on the box and therefore the change in kinetic energy since the change in kinetic energy and the network are the same. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe. Send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.